Hey Vinyl Community, it's Chris. Uh, I thought I'd try to do a different video than the most, you know, the, the recent ones that I've been doing, the Vi uh, Acid Archives Diaries and a couple of threads. So this one will just be mostly uh, recent uh, purchases. Uh, and, and I think there's one old one that I have in there that just was interesting, so I thought I'd get it out. So I will start with uh, this one here. Detoni plays Detoni. Dubrovko Detoni, uh, Eastern European. This is on the Yugaton label. I think it was issued in 1981. Uh, he's a uh, composer, pianist. So I'm going to put on this first track, which I think is uh, Phonomorphia 2. Phonomorphia 2. So that's uh, for piano and tape. So we'll play that for a moment. The back cover makes it kind of hard to tell what the track list is. But luckily the label has it written on there. Another record that I got recently, which I won't play a sample of, but it's uh, this one here. Masayuki Koga, uh, Shakahuchi player. And uh, so this is Shakahuchi with piano in concert. Uh, Yusoki Suga is the pianist on this. Oops. This is the uh, recorded at a concert at 1750 Arch in San Francisco, which is a label unto itself. But this is a private release put out by uh, Masayuki Koga. 1975, I think. So next up will be a uh, duets album. Charlie Hayden, bassist, duetting with several people. So everyone may be familiar with this one already. Four tracks, he duets with Ornette Coleman, Alice Coltrane, Keith Jarrett, and Paul Motion. These are all uh, recorded around 1976. He started playing with Ornette Coleman uh, in the late 50s. So he uh, attributes him as being a mentor and a teacher. But a lot of space there, bass and piano, bass and saxophone, bass and uh, harp, bass and drums, or percussion.
Next up, Black Sun Ensemble. A, I think they're uh, from Tucson, Arizona. So maybe Ron at Hogs here report uh, is familiar with these guys. Black Sun Ensemble, so I'll put on this for a moment. Which will be a little bit of a change from the the Tony. Tragic Magic. So I've had this on CD for a while, but finally found a vinyl copy. One side live, which is what we're hearing. The other side's acoustic. This uh, album cover seen better days. It's a little bit wavy here. Punch out hole there. 19, uh, 1991 on the Absolute A Go Go label. Uh, the main man in this group seems to be uh, Jesus Akedo, the uh, uh, guitarist. Writer. And after this up tempo stuff, we'll go back to more uh, uh, down tempo. So, most of, sometimes they have sort of a Middle Eastern influence on their music. Sort of mystical, spacey, psychedelic. Next one up is this uh, album that I pre-ordered, The Solar Model of Ibn al-Shatir by uh, Pat Thomas. A UK piano player, composer. So this, I, I just got this uh, a week or two ago, but I already need to uh, re-glue the seam there. But that came off a of, uh, pre-order on Bandcamp. So solo piano. Solo piano, side A, side B. Don't know how well this will work for a uh, sample. Might be too much space. But this is called the solar model. I'll flip it over and it'll be the Ood of Ziryab. Here's the track list on the Odoroku label, 2024. So solo piano. Uh, 
Pat Thomas. There he is at the piano. In his little studio. Recorded March 6th, uh, 2024. And up next, this uh, odd album. I don't know if anyone else sees any resemblance, but uh, I sort of see stunt rock confusion there. But he's going under the name Bill Vanover. Nineteen seventy two album on the Swallowtail label. So let me put that on for a second. Bill Van Vanavere. There's the Swallowtail. So this song's going to be called Les Ganinka. This is the uh, remastered, revised edition based on this uh, paste over of the track list. So this is uh, Eastern European folk song. The notes say it was uh, a men's dance played on the uh, knuckles. right there. So nice nice guitar work going on. So Bill Vanavere, nineteen seventy two. Next up, we're going to have, this is one I've had for a while, The Melted Men, Breathe the Gas. I think this is their first album from, uh, I forget what year, early 80s. I got this in uh, Orlando, Florida. Mills Avenue at some, I think it was at a clothing shop, maybe. But it's... Uh, Homemade cover, so they took a, an album called uh, Blame It on the One I Love by Kelly Willard on the Marathantha label and created their own album cover. So, you know, paste it on the title photos, this big collage image there. Don't know where they got that from. Track listing. Uh, 1985, it says. Recorded August 2nd, 1985. This picture here, taped on. Got some more pictures, so repurpose an album and made their own, but they've got their own uh, record label. So let me put that on for a moment. Bill Vanavere on the Swallowtail label. Okay, the Melted Men, Breathe the Gas. 
There's that label. Custom label. All right, so this was, uh, this is called Chateau Elan, which will go into the parameters of Zeltor. Keep going. So this will last for a few more seconds and then uh, go into the next track. Well, you see there's a lot of uh, short tracks. Nine or ten per side. This was from uh, recorded in Athens, Georgia. So, yes, they were part of some scene there in Athens. I went to sleep. Melted men. And then we're going to end this session with, uh, here we go. Laszlo Sorry. The album is called Snail Play on Hungaraton with a... Uh, Cut corner there. There's Mr. Sari, Laszlo Sari, composer, pianist. We're going to play the title track, Snail Play. It's also got the translation there, or Snail Play is the translation, but uh, for six or more players. So they've got six pianos on this track. Garaton label. All right, let me put that on and then we'll conclude. So, you got that? It was that spoken word bit. Now it's into this uh, glitchy thing. Melted men, breathe the gas. And now we're going to do snail play. So, back to piano. So, half of this whole video is piano based. Snail shell, snail artwork. So three tracks on here. The other one is uh, variations on 14 pitches. So that's a vocalist and a pianist. The author, Laszlo Sari and uh, Magda Tarko. They go through various uh, iterations of piano, vocal, piano and vocal. This particular track, Snail Play. So they've got all, you know, 
six pianos going, uh, they'll slowly drop out and it'll become more sparse as it uh, proceeds. 19 minutes and 15 seconds. Then there's the second track or the third overall is uh, Pebble playing in a pot. So that's uh, Laz Lasari on a prepared piano. So a piano solo piece. And this was put out in uh, 1979. So that was uh, some recent uh, pickups, plus that melted bin, which was an old one. I just have never pulled it out and showed it, I don't think. So something a little different than the Acid Archives and the various threads. So thanks everybody watching, and I'll probably be back with another Acid Archives. I've got several uh, planned to do. So see you later.